Okay, I'll try this again. This is Phil. I've got my um, multi-locomotive throttle set up, multi-loco, and uh, I built it and I've got it set up here and I've got it in my hands. And uh, I've got JMRI running on a computer over there. I've got my PR3 over there, connect up to a USB cable. Uh, I've got my router here, and I've got my throttle set up and connected to it already. So, I've got the uh, forward and reverse, horn, speed, and emergency stop, locomotive select, one, two, or three, bell, on or off, and lights, on or off. So right now, if I wanted to blow the horn, for example, I could pull this down. It blows that horn. Ta-da! Or a short horn if I push it up. Now if I want to go forward or reverse, hit the forward or reverse. And these are all momentary. So there's reverse. If I wanted to ramp it up, I could start it up by doing the uh, throttle to one. Starts it up. Two. Three, there it goes. Wait a minute, I don't have my lights on. Okay, so I've turned the lights on. Uh, one time I'll turn them on, but they're dim. Turn them on one more time, it'll turn them on. Full brightness, and you can see it there. So if it's dim, it's a little dimmer, if it's full brightness there. Can't really see it too well there, but. And then if I want to go forward, I can do one time up to put it in the neutral, another time up to put it in forward. Now what's really cool is the multi-throttle aspect of this, I mean multi-loco, means that I can select, I've got uh, T number one uh, controlling locomotive 2354, got it in forward, I got the lights on, I got speed zero. If I go to locomotive two, it's dispatch right now because I don't have any locomotives assigned yet. And you can see my throttle map in the lower right hand corner shows a star meaning it's assigned and commas meaning it's not. So if I select roster which is reverse, I can select a locomotive from my roster. So for example if I had, which I don't, locomotive say 1563 I don't have it on here, okay. How about 1863? And I go forward by hitting it up one. Checks all the things in there. Now it's got a neutral. Let me put it in forward. No, I'll put this one in reverse. I'll turn the bell on this one. And since I don't have a locomotive like that, I'm just going to start it up and pretend it's going 7 miles an hour. Now locomotive number 3 is dispatched so if I want to put locomotive number three I can spin the knob and get my southern 2245 now my throttle map shows all three uh, are assigned uh, this one's got 2245 let me turn the lights on dim on this one so I'm going to go forward and then put some speed on it just to uh, demonstrate so it's going forward at 8 miles an hour with the lights on dim. So if I switch it to number 2, number 2's got the bell on, it's going reverse at 7. If I switch it to, or oh, it chose reverse. If I switch it to number 1, throttle number 1 has got the locomotive there. Now if I'm running it and I have a problem I need to stop immediately, if I double click the switch, if I click it once it'll say all stop, but if I double click it, it does an emergency stop on all three. And you can see the XXX here. It means that they're all emergency stopped. Now when I do that uh, on this one, because it was going forward before, to reset it, I have to do forward, reverse, forward. Now I'm back where I was. Number two, it was in reverse. So I got to do reverse, forward, reverse. And I'm back where I was. And you can see the throttle map here has, has got the two of them that are assigned now. One's still in uh, emergency stop. So I'll go over to number three. 
it was going in forward, so it's got FRF to reset. So it's forward, reverse, forward. I'm back to where I was. And since the uh, encoder is uh, a relative encoder, I can set it wherever it is, and then if I want to stop, if I uh, have it going reverse and I put it in neutral, it'll start coasting and it'll start slowing down. 15. And you can see my bar graph on there too, right above this speed. Now if I hit forward while it's going in reverse, it does a break and immediately stops it. So if I go back to reverse, it'll speed up to where the throttle was. If I go neutral and forward, it goes to brake and stops it. Well, I can also go forward and stop at any time. Almost any time. So while it's in neutral, if I have all the functions off, and the bell, bell by the way is momentary on or off it doesn't matter how many times it turn off momentary but if all the functions are off if the throttle is over 20 it dispatches it so I recommend you keep the lights on if you're not driving it sometime just leave one dim okay so number two is dispatch now number one which is the one I've got here if I want to dispatch that I can turn the lights off turn them to dim first then turn them off and then put it in neutral and then hit it over 20 or 15 or whatever it is. Now it still shows I have one locomotive acquired, and that's number three. So I'm going to go over to three. Lights are on dim. It's in forward. So I'm going to put it in neutral, turn the lights off, and I'll dispatch that one. Now if I go back to two, while all three are dispatched, I can run this up to 30, I think, and it will disconnect from the server. And then I have to shut it off. Thanks.